Ladies, gentlemen, pronouns, lend me your ears. Crazy Kid back for another react on 4th Impact X Factor Journey 2015. The ladies made it through week four. Now we're on week five. This week they're doing two songs. Um, and even though, si like, even though Simon keeps making mention about the styling being the same, Again, he's going to have something to bitch about. Um, in recent comments, um, people have been saying you know, my my levels are a bit off. I've adjusted them a little bit to try to level them out a little bit better. So let's get into this. Every act is performing two songs for you tonight. So Cheryl, what did the public choose for your groups? Well, I want to say thank you for this song because you get to see them in a very different light tonight. Be prepared to have your socks blown off. It's my gorgeous girls, fourth impact. Yeah, my gorgeous girls this time. <laughs> It's Monday morning and we're off to meet Cheryl to find out what song the public has chosen for us this jukebox week. I'll be there. Oh! The viewer's choice for us is I'll be there from Jackson 5. Finally, we get to sing a ballad. Yay! Yeah, they're excited about that. That's one of their, um, they, they said in one of their live streams, that's one of the songs that they relate to a lot because they're always there for each other. We can show now the other side of work. Exactly, yes. It's 10 past eight on Tuesday morning. So we're just about to go on to the interview with Creamy and our mentor, Sharon. Yeah, like, they just, you know, let's take some time, do some selfies, you know? <laughs> That's the kind of stuff that you want to see stars do. You don't want to just see them going, oh, I'm the most important. Take your picture from afar, fool. You know, you want to see your you want to see the people that you're admiring actually acknowledge you and get those selfies with you. These are very humble ladies, and I've been saying it all along. And this is one of the things that makes them so special. They'd make time for their fans. Yeah! How are you? Very good. good. Nice We're to see small. you. <laughs> Irene. We're still small. <laughs> but like, look at that smile. That's just that, that's a killer smile right there. Same thing with Selena. Selena's standing beside her. That's just those, those two with killer smiles. <laughs> this is it. This is the life dream list check. Yes. <laughs> Now, this is coming from Fleur East, okay? One of the these girls' inspirations for music. From your first audition, I love you, girl. This is it. Dreams really do come true. But can you imagine one of the people that you, you, you've, you take inspiration from and... They're saying, I just loved you from your first audition. Talk about a boost in confidence. And quite the compliment. We're now going to Philippine Embassy to see our fellow Filipino community. Hello. Like, can you imagine? Like, this is the trip of a lifetime for them. Like, they they get to go and they now they're with people that that are you know like a couple of and you know they they're with their, their their country people you know the people of the Philippines that are in UK and you know this is probably making them feel a little bit more at home you know personally if I was their 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 mentor I would have done this like the, the first week. When we arrived, it was crazy. All of them were like screaming, and the support is so amazing. Performing for them and seeing their smiles is so touching. 
Yeah, give them a little mini concert just to keep them going, just to keep them voting, you know. Awesome idea. Ladies, the Philippine Embassy and the whole Filipino community are behind your success all the way. Mabuhay! It's such an amazing experience to be here. And everything that is happening to us, we just don't want this to end. We're loving this so much. Like, and again, to take time and spend time with your the people that are supporting and admiring your work, that is what makes a star shine brightest. Four impact. You and I must love. I've heard them sing this song so many times and that opening that that oh, the opening of that song when Selena does that it's just oh man put you at ease just uh just you know give your heart a warm hug right there and again like you know, take a look you know they're all the same they look the same again Stylist just got lazy on him. Where there is love, I'll be there. 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 Man, doesn't that just feel like a warm hug? <laughs> oh, that feels like a warm hug from Grandma. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love you, Grandma. And when they did that, you know, hold the hand thing there, that just shows you. This is a song about bonding. And that was that was wonderful where they, they just put that off there. But this next note. <laughs> when I first heard that note, I was like, man, am I ever glad my computer screen is plastic? Because if it had been glass, Oh, doesn't that harmony right there just make you feel like you're getting a getting a big hug from mom? Oh. Almira. Just come away. And I'll be Irene right here kind of breaks down a little bit and she explains that in a personal vlog that she, on her channel uh, I suggest you go take a look at it 
um, and subscribe to her channel. Subscribe to all their channels. But she talks about that she's going through an emotional heartbreak while this is going on. That's why she has a little bit of a a sad point after the after singing this emotional song. Girls, uh, can I be honest with you? When you walked on wearing identical dresses again, and then I saw the flowers in the background, and then I thought, oh, God, you're going to be singing, I'll be there. I was really dreading it. And then you started to sing and everything changed. Yeah. For the longest time, I, I wasn't a big fan of this song uh, from the Jackson 5 or pretty much anybody else that had covered it after that. But when I heard this this version, <laughs> changed my look on this song. Because vocally, that was, and B, you were absolute Who? B. Who? A, B, B. See, he's making the whole, making this same comment. You know, they look the same. He can't tell them apart from a distance. And he's been saying that over and over and over again. Yet the stylists keep doing this to these ladies. See, your vocal was absolutely outstanding at parts. I thought vocally the best you sounded so far. Great. Thank you. I mean. I think the only difference that the stylist did was dump different amounts of glitter on the girls while they were singing. Girls, you do entertain us every single week. Week after week, it's great. But I thought this week was great. It's great to see a completely different side of you and get you to do an emotional song. And we got to hear you all singing individually. And as Simon said, some of them vocals were incredible. That high note, I mean, it's going to be... It's going to be like dolphins arriving in Wembley. Uh, but it's great. It's great to hear you all individually. Thank I thought it was you. wonderful. Uh, no, um, you are honestly, so talented. <laughs> honestly, you sound like do you know? Oh, thank you. <laughs> honestly, do you know what I love the most about that performance? The relationship that you have with the record. I'll be there. It's like Jackson Five. It's like you guys are related. They were related. And I think only people that have that connection with each other can sing a record like that and do it justice. So, yeah. congratulations. <laughs> Notice not very much said about the individual performance of the girls. Just that, oh, it takes, you know, a bond like yours to do justice to a bond like theirs, to a track of theirs. No, honestly, please don't insult the public by saying when you saw the song Choice, you cringed because there was the public's choice and I thought they did a fantastic well, you job. For the public. And you Absolutely <laughs> nailed that performance. You are gorgeous. It's Mylene, Almira with a dolphin note, gorgeous Irene, and Selena. Thank you very much. Good night. Yeah, these uh, this this performance was a stellar performance. The outfits, not so much. But the the vocals of this performance just made you feel like your mom was hugging you and everything's going to be all right. That's what I get out of this performance. And I don't know about anybody else. Leave a comment below uh, what, how this song makes you feel. Uh, leave a comment below if you like the levels of the, uh, uh, the level changes I've made in the, in the microphone compared to the video. Um, hit the like, share, subscribe. Let's get this out to as many people as we can. Uh, it was so good to see that side of you, and it must be really hard to sing and eat glitter at the same time. <laughs> Did you enjoy that? Yes, we enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. What would you like to say back to the judges? Thank, thank you, you so, so much for appreciating you. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so much. much for singing. Well done. You, if you want to vote for Fourth Impact, vote, voting opens after all acts have performed their first song. Please give it up for Fourth Impact. <laughs> Alrighty. Final comments. 
I love it when they sing this song. It just makes your heart glow. Um, <clears throat> Simon's been barking at him about something that the girls can't change. And the stylist just won't listen to. They keep making everything the same, the same, the same. And Simon keeps saying, hey, you got you to gotta make me know who you are individually. I want to know who you are individually. Like, even if they were still the same color, but had vast differences in each one of the outfits, that would drive individuality. It would still drive, you know, hey, they're a group, but actually show a little bit more of their individuality. That's what I think Simon was after. But when they just keep dressing them up in the same outfit with the only difference being a name tag on the inside of their dress, that's not individuality. So uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to not only my channel, watch some more of my content on the other side, the, the comedy uh, routines. Um, if you're looking for editing, editing videos, I've got editing videos. Um, uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the X Factor UK uh, YouTube channel, the Fourth Impact YouTube channel. Uh, give them all the love and support you can. And if you know any promoters um, that can help these ladies get more concerts and get their music out and get their inspiration out to more people, that'd be great. Get them in touch with you know Fourth Impact. Show them their channel. Show them what these ladies really can do. Um, don't forget that they have a, uh, a live concert in Oxnard, California, and in Montclair, California, um, on the night or 17th and 19th of November. Get your tickets now because they have a very big fan base on YouTube, and a lot of them people live in the United States. So you can almost imagine how long it's going to take for those tickets to sell out. So get your seats now because. Who knows? They might be gone soon. They might be gone already by the time of this recording. So that's uh, November 17th and 19th, 2023. Check them out. Their concerts are more than just a concert. They're an experience. Until the next one, I wish everybody peace, love, and happiness.